Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rad from Radko Tarot. And in this whole video, we're going to look into uh, Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and also Aquarius Rising weekly general tarot reading October 18th up until October uh, 24th, uh, 2021. And uh, should you be guys interested in a personal reading with me, or if you do want to take my tarot classes, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website where you can view and purchase either or both of these services and as well if you do enjoy the content here on the channel and uh, you do wish to support us just leave a like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of our weekly uploads all right so with that being said uh moving straight away to the uh aquarius reading and the very first card we do have that is going to be uh the queen of pentacles uh moving next can you see the cards by the way well yeah all right so moving next we do have the hierophant uh followed by the third card here of the emperor and uh, then the fourth one that is going to be the nine of swords and the final card for you, Aquarius, that will be the uh, Eight of Swords. And now with the Eight of Swords, that kind of makes sense. Uh, the Nine of Swords a little bit confused me when I threw it. But with the Eight of Swords at the end, that totally makes sense. Wow, all right. So that will be a week of... Uh, a week of teaching. That will be a week of where you are to unfold somewhat of a potential that you are either um suppressing or you are either had no clue that you have that potential and when i say potential i don't mean just only skill or knowledge that could be for example the potential to be good that could be for example the potential not to allow people to stumble upon you right that could be a potential to withstand your uh your position or your uh yeah your your position your ground that could be the potential to to love you know or potential to make money any kind of potential here and uh, that will happen through this person uh, which is the queen of pentacles and it is accompanied yeah with the two of pentacles so we do have a passive supporters here and that person they don't usually concern themselves with others these are these people they're very well established they have um a fortune all right or if they don't have a fortune they rather have a good amount of money flowing they have either a really good job or or they have what to do with their lives uh, they are settled so to speak and uh, usually they don't concern themselves with others only thing for them that matters it is what they see when they look at themselves into the mirror the thing about the Queen of Pentacles, though, it is that they just can't stand when they see a potential which is unfounded, or rather like it is, it is suppressed. And here, a couple of things happens with this person. First of all, through the Two of Pentacles, they, yes, they feel bored, but they do have some time at their hands to kill, okay? and uh, the other thing that happens it is you and simply they would decide to spend their time with you or guiding you so you do unfold a potential within yourself which is here to for unexplored that could be your supervisor seeing how far you can go you know and while up until now they haven't concerned themselves with you now they see that all right you do deserve investment okay person within your uh social circle which by now they were not that interested in you but now they see that you do have potential okay and, and so on or for example a lecturer or a professor in your university that you are just a person amongst the crowd but now they see that you actually have a potential and they are prepared or they do want to spend more time with you so they can develop you better and so who knows what the future will hold for you both but the thing is that through that partnership the hierophant plays out and the hierophant differentiates when it comes to career when it comes to social circles and when it comes to 
uh, relationships, but one is common here with the Hierophant. A few things are common. First thing, it is that the, the support, the cooperation or the help or whatever way you want to name it is going to be a benevolent one. Therefore, nothing is going to be expected in return, which, by the way, it's a very rare thing. It's extremely rare thing for the Queen of Pentacles individual. Uh, it's extremely rare for them to go out of their way to help somebody. Let's uh, let alone that help to be a benevolent one. Uh, the, the other thing it is that they are most likely going to counsel you. They are going to teach you. They are going to provide you with a, um, how do you call it, priceless, with a priceless uh, advice. It is because where, they're, where you are trying to be, it is where they are now and probably it is where they are coming back from. So they very know, uh, so they very well know and understand what you should go through, what you are to expect, how to do it the best way, and so on and so forth. Through it, Aquarius, whatever problems you do have, the, all of them are going to find their resolution. It will be, of course, up to you to decide are you going to exert that resolution or not. But your problems are going to find resolution. And this is where the card branches out. Because within your career, this plays out that you are going to start doing and interacting with your career deeds and uh, in generally your career path with way much more belief and as well uh, it's simply the things you do there and the way you are doing things are going to be a way that you are to enjoy and that you are going to be convinced that that's the right way moving forward. Uh, relationship wise you can expect increase in trust and mutual reliability and it is where you are going to determine for yourself what the real law truly is and once you determine once you do uh, make that definition there is no way you are to miss it if you haven't found it yet and right after that the emperor plays out it's a pretty short explanation here through this council through this guidance and through the finding your definition okay with the emperor you will be able to exert way more control over what is happening to you and how you interact with it you will be able to exert more control over uh, your date uh, your dates or more control over your chores more control over your day-to-day -day routine and that will make your experiences way more reliable you are to show yourself and present yourself way more reliable than before which is going to uh, increase the trust in others for you you're going to present yourself much stronger than anybody around anticipated right as a stronger choice as a stronger individual as a stronger person for the job and through all that presence you will be able to manage your day-to-day -day routine with much more bear uh, which will allow you to have a call for more personal freedom so at that point if you have been overloaded with so many activities and didn't have time for yourself you can expect to clear out some space so you can have it for yourself uh, at the mid of uh, at the midst of this uh, week, October 18th up until October 24th, 2021. And uh, right after that, uh, the Nine of Swords plays out. And this is where I was kind of confused, kind of baffled. What is that card um, trying to tell us? Well, now I know, as I know the next card, which is the Eight of Swords. And this card here speaks about the uh, surpassing limits that you have bestowed upon yourself. For example, limits, I will never go for another job until I am not kicked out for this, from this one. I am never going to approach a person uh, should I have another romantic interest? These are just, for example, limits, okay? It's kind of like limits that uh, define your comfort zone. It is because you are finding yourself afraid of the consequences what uh, traversing or breaking down those limits is going to bring to you. And here, towards the end of the week, you, Aquarius, are going to break down those limits. You are going to overcome that fear from the consequences what follows after you uh, push your limits further. And uh, the result of all that is going to be the end of the week here with the Eight of Swords, where those limits are simply 
brought down and it literally there is nothing out there to constrain you another way how we can look at those cards okay but they have to be read uh simultaneously okay it is when you know something that is going to inflict damage okay uh you know a secret that will make life harder for others you know a truth that it is disclosed just to you and few others for example and you are and you are afraid to speak about the truth okay for example you do have a person uh, a very good friend that you know their beloved one cheated on them and you are afraid of speak up about it because that will make an emotional uh, distortion into this person but now towards the end of the week you're gonna grow to understand that if the truth it is the thing that makes you free because there is no denying of it okay what is the denial or the ignorance toward it makes you and so uh, at the end of the week you will see that this truth is making is, is putting limits not just only to you but to the other person as well and uh, you are to divulge it but in a way that is not going to cause nearly that much of an emotional disruption for example if that person finds out about the affair finds out about that they have been lied to and so on and so forth but one is certain here for you Aquarius it is that at the end of the week you are going to feel way more free than before with much more um options available than before with so much broader world in front of you and uh, uh, life is gonna feel much liberated than it felt uh, than it felt before with more options for work with more options to date you know and it's simply you are gonna feel comfortable within your own skin and uh, with that being said Aquarius uh, this was your weekly general tarot reading guys uh, October 18th up until October 24th 2021 hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and we are to see each other next time until then bye